Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper, where we've got six pieces of bread. How marvellous. Uh, right, we do have a number of things that we can do. We've got a little bit of dough, but let's make some more um, flour, and then we'll drop that in there. In fact, actually, how much dough do we already have? No, we don't have any dough, actually. Hmm, okay, that's a little bit of a surprise. Sure, we'll uh, get all of this wheat turned into flour. It's not a day that we particularly need to worry about going anywhere right now. Uh, so we can actually spend the next two days just working on things like uh, getting the support there for the coming, uh, the coming sermon. Hopefully we can get some more pews up and running. It might be a little bit hard though. We'll see how that one goes. Right, there we are. Need. I'm going to grab two buckets worth of water. I would also quite like to make some firewood, actually. There we go. So let's see. Do we have any bullets around? We do not. We do not. So let's go ahead and get some bullet then. I could just tear down one of the items. In fact, you know what? Let's turn it into firewood. There we are. And then just regular firewood there. Gobble down some bread. It's not even midday and we are already starting to struggle a little bit with food, but that's fine. Uh, let's keep going. And then we'll top up the oven there. There we are, perfect. Right then, you. Let's get you going. Uh, we want all of the fuel. Well, maybe not all of the fuel. That might be a little bit excessive. Uh, right. Um... Well, we could just go ahead and make the baked mushrooms to start with. Uh, I need to convert this into water. Again, I'm not really sure why we do that. Why that's a, a necessary activity there. It feels a little bit like like that's there just to give me busy work. And I'm not a huge fan of that particular mechanic in games. Not a huge fan. There we go. Unless there is something that we need specifically buckets of water for. If that's the case, but I haven't seen anything like that. But if that is the case, then it does explain the reasoning behind it. There we go. Let's keep going. Just make as much dough as we can. I think I've got a little bit too much. I'm not sure how much they can stack up to. Uh, we'll have to see. Alright, yo. Let's get out there then. Now, do we have enough? We can load some more firewood in there. We don't have any iron, though. Let's go and grab some, because we are going to need iron for everything that we're working on. Now, what is it that we need here? Is it advanced metal parts? Yeah, complex iron parts. That is a pretty high priority for us. If we can get that up and running, uh, we'll be able to start getting wine. And realistically, once we're, we're to the point that we're making plenty of wine, it's going to be... Energy is not going to be a concern for us anymore. That is a very nice place to be in this game because a large part of the game is managing your energy. There we are. Now, my pickaxe is probably going to run down. Uh, I may be able to get one more. I'm not sure I'll get the second one, though. We'll see. I won't bother starting it if it doesn't look like I'm going to finish it. I think it'll be right on the edge. Okay, let's, let's actually see. We're going to gamble a little bit. Let us see. Are we going to be able to finish this in one go? Come on. Yes, there we go. Perfect. Okay, with all of that iron ore, we should be able to get quite a lot going. Now, have I got technology yet that will allow me to get more out of doing that? Uh, no, I don't think so. How about this? No, unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to be getting that. Oh, well, we can unlock clay at the very least. Uh, we're going to need a fair chunk of extra work before we can make the advanced metal parts ourselves. It's a shame, but it's not the worst thing, certainly. So I'm going to drop these off then, all of those in there, and get these on the go. So, I would like as much of this as I can get, which is three. Go ahead. Now, what do I need to do for the pottery wheel? For the pottery wheel, we need... Uh, okay, just a little bit of 
Uh, one more nail. That's a shame because we make them in large batteries. And we're going to have to actually wait on that. And some flitch. Okay. That's not actually difficult at all. That works out quite well for us, in fact. We'll get all of this done. There we go. And I also need to take note of what we're going to need to do for our... Ooh, we're not going to have enough energy there. I, well, we will have enough energy, but I could just avoid using all of that up. Uh, let's get some baked apples as well, please. There we go. I really hope that we're going to be able to get to a point where we can have our own livestock so that we don't have to buy the eggs because chickens are easy enough to keep. Yes, having your own cows now, now, you know, going full rancher, that's a little bit of a different story. I mean, we've got our own farm to a degree, but hmm, questionable to say the very least. But uh, having things going overnight is always a very good idea because then by the time morning comes around, most of it is ready for you. Uh, I'll pop those there. There we are. I'll drop these off. Perfect. Marvellous. Wonder lovely. Ooh, actually, thinking about it, I could make some white fish. Oh, yes. And we only need uh, one for each one of these. Oh, I like it a lot, actually. I like that great deal. I'm still holding on to the um, the oil, just in case we can help out Comrade Donkey, but I'm starting to suspect that that might not be happening. Uh, can I do anything else with that? I don't think so, no. Okay. Well, that's fine. The bread can just go ahead and, and prepare. There we are. Thank you very much. And with that, we can finish you. Glorious there we are. Now, let's get this potter's uh, pottery wheel up and running. Sure. It's actually turning into a nice little area they are. I'll be perfectly honest with you. I'm liking it at the very least. Uh, it'll be nice to get a better hammer, though. We should be able to just upgrade that when the time comes. Right, let's uh, finish off with this as well. There we go. Nice. And we can drop that off in there. Glorious, and the nails as well. And we've got a couple of things that we can go ahead and uh, study when we get the chance. Now, what can we do here? Just straight up ceramic bowls. I need some water for that though. Pretty well. Easily enough done. Yoink. Right. Uh, there's always more things that you could be doing with your time in this game. I would recommend anyone who's playing it right now, don't get sucked into thinking you have to be using every possible second. Like, oh my lord, down here I haven't... Uh, Got my, my fields going. You'll never get everything done. So don't don't worry about uh, trying. Uh, obviously, be as efficient as you can be. But don't sweat it if you if you miss something. Uh, there we are. There, from what I understand, is no time pressure in this game. You cannot lose it by taking too long. That being said, I've only played the alpha, so maybe you can. Don't take my word for it, but uh, either way, if you do play it and then you, you you actually lose it due to some sort of time constraint you weren't aware of, well, uh, first and foremost, I'd like to take this opportunity to apologize for my earlier statement. Secondly, please let me know so that I don't have to suffer the same fate. Thirdly, don't worry about it. Losing is fun. Embrace the Dwarf Fortress player in you. Just do better next time. And no doubt, your first run, you learnt loads of awesome things that means that you'll make massive progress the second time through. Which is pretty much the case with my second playthrough here. So, uh, yeah, just just embrace embrace the failure. Right, okay, so, what do we want to plant? Uh, sure, I wouldn't mind having some uh, wheat, beets, sure, and cabbage seeds, why not? Lots get hemp seeds. Sure, get those as well. Overshooting a little bit. And then just uh, carrot seeds, I guess. That's not a big problem. One and two. We've not quite got the whole thing, but uh, it's good enough, I think. All right, drop you off. Drop off the maggots. Drop off the peat and the crop waste. There we are. Not bad at all. And we got a bunch more wheat take back to the house as well. I like it. I like it. Right then. Uh, oh, you know what? 
I should have done that differently. Also, that was awesome. But, ah, oh, look at this. Look how glorious. Let's make many bowls. Yes. Does it take more? It doesn't take more effort. <gasps> oh, wait, no. Ah, uh, I see. I was about to say that. That's... Surely that's super uh, exploitable. Well, that's fine. Let's get all of the ceramic bowls. Uh, because apparently I'm just going to be able to sell them anyway, so... Yoink. I will have use of them. Some more fake mushrooms, please. There we go. And that should be more ceramic bowls than I need for anything going forward, I imagine. Right. Uh, I would like some more firewood if I can. Yeah, let's try and do that before the night is out. Let's uh, eat some of my baked apples. And we'll set this going. And that's it. We're going to need more trees in the very near future. Oh, it's not great, but... Unfortunately, I haven't had the opportunity to get the pews ready, which is a bit of an annoyance, I'll be honest, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, I could rush down there and quickly check what the requirements would be. Would be, Maybe. Uh, I don't know, though. That being said. Now, I think we'll, uh, we'll just accept that this sermon is... Possibly not going to be the best. If I've got the materials, then I, I'll happily do it, but it's very unlikely, I think. Right, let's get all of this loaded up. There we are. Very nice. And continue to use as much of this as we possibly can. 12 iron ingots. I approve. I can't wait, in fact. Uh, let's put that off there. Right. Time to grab a snooze and also pick up a stonking amount of bread. Happy days. Yeah, okay. Sleep times. Ah, I think we've uh, got a, a good bit of work done those first two days there. I think a lot of it comes down to picking days where you don't intend to do the, the main task that is available on that day and using that to do everything else and then not trying to, to separate your time out too heavily on the other days. Uh, just try to focus on one task and you'll get a lot more stuff done. Kind of the way that I found that uh, doing YouTube works. It's, it's so much easier if I just batch record a single video, uh, a single game rather. The only downside to it is that that will mean that I'll be quite far ahead of any comments. So I try to limit it to about two or three videos. Uh, it depends a little bit on how often I'm uploading that particular video as well because obviously if I'm uploading a particular game like three or four times uh, a, a day then I will maybe batch record enough for two days rather than you know barely enough for one there we go Yoink. marvelous gotta pick these mushrooms wherever we can they uh, seem to to um, uh, pop up quite quite frequently what, what, what would be the mycology term for for growing to to coming into fruit I have no idea not a scooby I'm sure it's a good word too all right let's grab you what else would I like to break down and I'd like to study these items but uh, the brain is a really expensive one that's the problem it's the key I'm not gonna be able to do that in fact I can't study anything thinking about it until I've got science that's uh, not much of an issue for me. Uh, we do, however. Ah, glorious days. Unlock that, please. And indeed, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, we'll have to uh, find that. Crafted at a cooking table. I still need to work out how to make all of that. Right, so what kind of things have I got? I've got some parts, some flitch. Ah, no, I remember. I need the, uh, I need the full wooden workbench. Now, uh, where's the bishop? 20 bowls. Okay. Well, we've got more than enough time for you. Should be good. I'll grab some mushrooms on the way, you know. Center the soul. Walk amongst nature. I, I always I always had a, a thought that uh, I, I figured the, the priests would be quite into their gardening. Uh, it's perhaps a Welsh in me. You know, the idea of, of druids. As, as a former priest, uh, the, the, yeah, they're, they're just natural alchemists, uh, you know, just working with herbs. It, it, it centers the soul. Give him the bowls. Phew, they're ugly, but 
but they'll be just perfect for the poor people. I am pleased to note your involvement in the business of the church. I might even consider upgrading your church to a big church. That means more faith and more money. With a big church, you'll be closer to God, and what's more important to me than holiness. But all of that is very far in the future. First, everything here has to be as perfect as my haircut. Ha 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 ha. And by the way, that's impossible. Nothing can be that perfect. And I mean both the church inside and the graveyard outside. Okay. 30 in the graveyard, not going to be hard. 20 in the church, difficult. Uh, at least with our current technologies. I'll do my best to meet your high standards. Speaking of high standards, I'd be so pleased if you could provide me with some fish. It'll save me from starvation. And not just any fish, I need a quality fish fillet. I believe you can find that kind of fish near the waterfall. Okay, many things for you. You mean the town is starving right now? No, I can't eat meat. And as for the fish from the town harbour, well, no thank you, not with that rotten ship of the dead half floating there. So you're my only hope. I think I've started losing my hair on account of my bad diet. Oh dear me. Uh, I could just buy that though. Uh, and I might have to. Uh, in terms of trading, no idea. No idea what I can do with that. But I can sell you some bread, which I will do. Yoink. And selling you now gets things as well, which is actually pretty cool. Because it used to be that if you sold something to someone, it caused their money to, uh, their progress to the next level to go down, which was kind of counterproductive, really. All right, time to get this happening. There we go. Come one, come all. I'd like to say some words. They're not going to be as good words as they used to be. Archer's great. Or something almost as good as that. And now let us play for this, uh, pray for this blessing. We can also play for the breast, uh, br the blessing. My lord. Ah, I need to stop sneaking sips of tea in between uh, talking. Oh no! Nah. The donations are welcome. Uh, it was a great sermon, but nah. I'm, I'm a little bit surprised that we didn't get some sort of uh, demonic chant towards the end there when it went all, all pear shaped. One faith. Nah, that's not very good at all. Not very good at all. Yeah, I need advanced parts. But. That is something we can do. Four of them, to be specific. Simple ones. Yeah, we need to get the uh, wooden workbench up and running. That is a must right now for us. Thank you. Right, well, I mean, we're almost there with uh, the church out here, so we're probably going to continue focusing our efforts there. But technology-wise... Cooking table, stone, columbarium. Mm, I'm just go and have a quick look in here. What else can I work on? Because a lot of it might be at the church workbench. Uh, oh, no, wrong thing. Back. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I need the ceramic funeral then. Alright. Well, we shall be back. Need to work out how to make those fancy schmancy urns. Have I got any more technology points that I can spend? No. We're going to need to invest quite a lot in hard work items. Uh, let's see. There we are. Ceramic firing. Crafted at furnace, furnace 2 and furnace 3. That is fine. 20 hard work is not going to be that difficult for me to get to, honestly. Uh, but we are going to need more uh, wood for that. Let's get some of this stuck up. There we go. And uh, sure, we'll dig you up as well. And then you. We'll just clean up this area in general. There we go. And then we can just train all of these up there. In fact, because we've got such a good position in here, might as well do a fair bit of cleaning up around here. There we are. I do need to go and speak with the Inquisitor as well at some point, but I'm not making that a very high priority right now, I'll be honest. Right, that's not going to work. It's going to start going all right. Oh, that's going to even go more all right. Oh, no. No, it's working. Ha ha! I'm making it work. This is fantastic. Ah, efficiency. My favorite issy. There we go. And let's get you down there as well. Got a little bit of hard work down here. But we need something a little 
bit harder still. Uh, right, well, let's have a quick look. What are we gonna need for you? Still need that. Carpenter's workbench. It's <sighs> frustrating. Um. We could fit a lot more stuff in, but I could just go and buy those. That might be a better option right now. Well, there's eight of them I'd need. And ten. Wow. That's actually kind of painful in a way. It's particularly rough. All right. Um, I can make a better anvil. I wonder if I can just straight up upgrade this one. No. Shame. However, I can be rid of it. Yoink. Then we'll replace that with a proper anvil. From there, we'll be able to make advanced parts, at the very least. So we're not going to have as awful of a time. Right, let's drop some of these off. There we go. Clark Beginner's Guide? What? Oh, right. Yes. I forgot. I've been... Cutting that around, just because I didn't really need it. There we are. Get those off as well. There we go. Right, now, I would like a proper anvil, please. And indeed, thank you. There we go. Wow. We make complex iron parts there. We can make rusty hammers ourselves now. It's not exactly a good thing to make, though. Uh, certainly not. But we'll get there. Right, so let's just try and get as many of these as we can. There we are, getting a little bit of extra hard work in as well. Not a problem. Uh, it, ooh, it's raining. I wonder if the slimes will be out now. Let's go and have a quick look. I want to test if slimes come out during the rain. Might be. No. No. Alas. Oh, well. Let's have a look over here. What was it that required again? Excellent. We can do this. Actually, I think that's actually one of each one, yeah. Um, no, no, it would be two of the, the wedges. But that's actually really nice. That's very uh, energy inexpensive. Oh, no, actually, it would make ten. Wow. Okay, so it is one of everything. There's really no reason to not go for that. My lord, I approve. And two there as well. Excellent. Let's go and get that path cleared out. We'll also grab the six too. Please and thank you. Oh, this is going to be glorious. Once we've got grapes going, then we can make pies. And also, we can use the, the fruit press. Right. Let's get you done. There we go. This is what we needed. It's going to take a lot of my energy, though, so let's uh, gobble down some of those apples. There we are. Excellent. Now, uh, hmm. I don't see the ability to grow things here. Hmm. Don't tell me I grow in the farm. Really? That would be very different from the way it worked previously. Or maybe... I, I actually... Hmm. I don't see the means to... Grow them. I wonder, if I go down to the farm and check now, can I build a vine trellis down there? Curiouser and curiouser. Used to be you had uh, a little uh, item up there that you could use to... Uh, build the vine trellises up on the up on the hill. I mean, it makes sense. It gets better sun. I wonder. I wonder. I want to have a look into that. There's all these random little graves around the place. I wonder if there's any particular benefits to working on those graves and uh, refurbishing them. 
Maybe if we dig up the bodies, we discover secrets. I like secrets. I like them a lot. We might have to look into that. I had a ghost ingot following me around. Hmm, no, no, we can't do that. Okay. Interesting, though. <laughs> yes, we have to. We have to. It looks so symmetrical, then. Everyone knows. Symmetricalness is... is It brings you closer to godliness. Uh, right, okay. Well, it's not a lot we want to do there. We're going to need... Let's see. Yeah, we can actually keep going. All right. We'll keep working on this. Though That being said, if it was that easy to make the... Uh, open up the way to the grape farm. What can I make down here? I can make the wine ba making barrel. Good. It's not expensive to make, to be fair. We should be able to get that up and running. Get a vine press and a wine making barrel really soon. Wow, we're going to be straight into making wine. Now, what about you? Nah. Okay. Okay. Going to be a little bit of a potch. I may just go and buy that, just so that I can save, uh, save some effort in having to mo uh, move things around uh, and demolish some things in order to make room to be able to do that properly. Well, we'll see. We will see. Right. Well, in the meanwhile, can I do anything with the fish? Well, if I get oil, I can make fish nuggets. I can make, I can make fish soup. <gasps> yes! Good fisherman! You don't let fish off the hook easily. And big fish, I, I can just get that, but uh, no, that looks amazing. I'll get more of them. Hmm. It seems it has to be a uh, copper, copper um, grade. Interesting. I didn't see a means for me to change that. There used to be a way to do that, but uh, okay. It might just be that I, I don't yet have the ability to change it, so it isn't even giving me the option, which would make sense, I suppose. Now let's uh, go ahead and make all of this dough. There we are. And we're coming up to night time. All right, not, not a bad day, all things considered. That's going quite well. This is going to be working for a little while yet. And generally speaking, I'm fairly happy with the progress we've made today. Uh, we're up to four complex iron parts. We're going to need ten to get what we want done, but we can make the vine press. We've got enough materials, actually. I think I'm going to need some more nails and some more simple iron parts. So not quite there, but uh, not very far off. Let's go ahead and see what we can do, shall we? Let's get some more nails. Hopefully that'll be ready before too long. There we are. Drop those in there. Uh, I don't need to be carting those around with me. Uh, well, I can go and grab some honey at the very least. I think I, I ought to. In the next episode, though, what we're going to be looking to do is fill up the box with carrots for Comrade Donkey. Oh, hello, you guys. Hello. No. There we are. And how about you two? Had a loop. I mean, it would be helpful if I was actually hitting you. That would be super good. Come on, then. I was not doing well there at all. But, uh, yeah, I'll go and fill up the carrot box for Comrade Donkey. Get some more corpses flowing in so that we've got some money. And I'm thinking probably next um, sloth day we'll go check out the astrologer. Buy a couple of things in town on the way. Definitely get some more seed oil if we can. I guess I could, Well, no, I don't think we're going to grab any more of that. Though, on that note, how much will it cost to repair? I can't even look at repairing it yet. Bit of a shame, that one. But that's fine. I can at least gather some more stone there. All right. Generally speaking, if you can get to sleep before the uh, high moon, then you'll get a decent amount of energy uh, return. And the rest you can just kind of rely on your your regular food for. But this will give me all of the simple iron parts I need. So I think in the next episode we're going to get our own, very own wine press up and running. That is going to be rather amazing. 
But that will be for then, and uh, this is for now. Ooh, we've got some, uh, got some of the fish ready. We are going to turn in and have a, a long sleep. And I really do hope you've enjoyed this episode. Unfortunately, it is that time. So until next time, and as always, do take care, everyone.